Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. We're running down the end of the game at the moment so I'm actually just going to start moving everyone across so we're in a better position for when we need to start heading for that temple. Um, obviously we've got this uh, this Pandoran lair here. Uh, we'll move our rapid response teams in and they can potentially deal with that. But really, we're kind of running down the, the research as well and um, yeah, waiting for this, uh, this temple to get built. Uh, we won't start that just yet. Of course, we've got to wait for the second, uh, second one to get across, but also there's no real urgency on it. So I'll let the, I'll let the guys get across. All right, that's, that's probably enough. The Tiamat's going to take a while to come in. Uh, so let's let's grab the Helios and we'll send them in. Okay, so we've got to eliminate the spawnery as per normal. Uh, in terms of equipment, we have got Harrowers. Good. That's what I wanted to double check. Definitely going to make sure that everyone is fully equipped. There's probably only like three more missions left. So we've got this. And after that, I don't know, but I wouldn't have thought there would be more than two storyline missions to go. So really, it depends on if there's going to be any any further attacks or anything for us to deal with between now and then. Uh, in terms of training, uh, as always, we'll, uh, we'll go through and check, see what everyone's got and what they can uh, utilize. Uh, Blaine, probably best if we give you willpower, actually. We'll push up towards being able to do three Rage Bursts. Kane over here. Yeah, we are going to save you up until... <laughs> I mean, I keep saying, we're going to save you, and then I just end up like spending it on strength and other stuff. But yeah, we'll actually try and get you another skill set over here. You're good on strength. We could give you more speed. Let's give you willpower, actually. That's going to be useful. I would love for you to be able to get Adrenaline Rush before we go in. Let's actually save save what you've got, because you might be able to get both of these. Uh, in here, Field Medic's okay, but seeing as we've got the, uh, the new Viophage kits, we probably don't really need them. Let's give you speed. Speed is fine. Speed is a good go-to if we're not sure what we're doing. Um, you can have extra willpower. You can have induced panic. And over here, I would love to get rapid clearance, but we're going to have to wait. Um, don't have enough for more willpower, so we'll leave that. Yeah, and we're back round. Okay. I think the team's as ready as they're going to be. Let's send them in. Okay, let's take a proper look at this. Uh, we're, we're close enough to this guy that he's probably going to start up straight away, unless we head like straight sideways. What's our plan? We could try like coming round here. Actually, that might be interesting. I'm going to dash as far in as we can. Uh, let's Pushing go like on. this. And that will allow us to step round, have a look, make sure there's nothing, nothing bad around here. Okay, I see you, and I see you. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna let's uh, let's do some explosive stuff.
we get that in there, that might open it up and allow us to grenade both of these. Okay. There might be another thing there as well. So let's let's just keep doubling down on this. Okay, lost a bit of armor. He's losing, well, not much. Let's try another one. We do have another heavy as well, so. Right, lost an arm. What about you? Not a great deal. They've not woken up yet. Let's do this again over here. So, much bigger range. Up and over we go. Looks like there's something down as well. We are getting unlucky with the amount of damage that's being done to this guy at the back. I'm very happy that this thing is taking a pounding. Alright, he's lost his head so we don't have to worry about mind control. But obviously still worried about the fact that they're both over there. Finally, we've, we've lost his acid launcher. Uh, you can pull back behind cover, I think. Because he's, he's got a gun, but he'd need to actually get in position to do something with it. Or maybe that would be fine, actually. I'll, I'll pull you back properly. That seems sensible. Over this side, let's um, take out that egg. Can you see the egg? You can. Great. Two shots. Two shots where you actually hit should do. Of course, if you're not actually hitting, it's not going to work. And then come this way. I honestly think we just step away from that. I think we just call it a potential pain in the arse and leave it well enough alone. Running. You can make it all the way over here. Do that. Coming up this side, uh, we'll change you to the Harrower so you can do proper return fire. Yeah. And that means just you. Hopefully you're far enough away that you won't trigger it. Let's go. Right he's, he's waking up. Well, that's a pain in the arse. If we're going to lose... The willpower. Kind of feel like we should step right up next to him and just blap him. Preparing to fire. So proximity detection, proximity detection. None of them remove the ability. At least none of them that I can target. Yeah, let's just go there. Oh, actually, no, we'll, we'll go kind of centre mass. It's a good amount of damage on it. Ooh, 47 will. Oh, right, yeah, because he's, he's got 150 will. So, yeah, definitely going to be able to do his screamy thing. Uh, that'll do for that turn. 
So yeah, losing losing willpower is a pain, and it stretches so far. That's the really annoying thing from it. All right, tiny bit of a hit. Return fire is respectable though. How did you disable the leg when he's behind cover like that? All right. Mr. Terra Sentinel. That's one splat. We've got another shot. So, you know, don't don't go anywhere just yet. Is it not yet dead? It's it's got a yeah, it's got two hit points left. It's going to die on its turn. Okay. Well, we won't worry about that. Ooh, you can hop up. And that's definitely going to be worth Let's do this. doing. Wait. Has something gone into the wall down there? That is a little bit cheeky. Little bit cheeky. I'm not so keen on that as far as uh, game mechanics go. Uh, let's come across this way. We'll leave that alone. It's going to bleed out anyway. At some point. I need to get you healed. Heading out. I see them. That's an egg over there. Let's do this. So in terms of sniping fun, I think I want to bring you this way and through. At the back, you're definitely going to have to play catch up. So much catch up. Over this side. I kind of feel like we shouldn't really be wasting all of this right now. Um, but I do need to stop that bleeding. Although, we could we could probably tank another hit before we do that. And we are... Alright, let's, let's dash on in. Oh yeah, we're going to have to heal because of that massively reduced movement. Never give up. Never give up trailing along with huge, huge pain. Uh, right, so your regen. Yeah, so we might be able to just regen from it. Moving. I honestly don't think so, but we might. This is fireworms, okay? We can handle fireworms. I'm, uh, I'm getting there. Uh, back here, come forwards. Down and up. Those legs, I love those legs so much. And over this side. Yeah, get yourself forwards on this side, just there. And likewise, hop on in. Bleeds out. Such a shame. Hello. Ow. So. Fireworm down here. I think it's. 
Mind Crush will take care of the worms. Awesome. Let's uh, let's do the healing. And then, yeah, I think we're really just looking to open things up over that side now. So we can probably do some some explosive fun. Let's get a boom blast going and break out the big guns. Yeah, that seems very reasonable. I don't think I need to say that I'm disappointed. But I'm going to say it anyway. I'm quite disappointed by how that missile went. Well, the egg's going to die at least. But really, this is the bigger threat. The much bigger threat. Uh, I wonder, are you in a position where you could maybe... Maybe with Boom Blast, but we don't have Boom Blast on you because of your remaining willpower being a bit sucky. Okay, so where would we have to get to in order to actually attack this guy? Over here? Up here would work? Up here would work. So let's go down below for now. And the next turn we step up, if we haven't already eliminated it somehow. We can do two dashes to get up next to this guy. Can we kill him in one go? Doesn't look like it, but we could do a bloody good job. The other option is we get close. And then we do something a little bit better next turn. This is all pants cover. Get in there. Mostly we are all about the rushing to the end. Uh, yeah, you need to catch up massively. Come across. You're fine where you are. And I think we're going to jump you. You can sort of be our bait. But just in case we can do something about this guy, let's uh, let's do that. It did very little damage, but it took off some of this guy's armor on his arms and legs. Okay, it's panicked, it's going to bleed out. He's coming from the side. This guy's coming in. Ow. Well, he can definitely die.
close range worms. Okay, you're still massively panicked. You will heal up eventually. We just need to make sure that you know you've got the ability to. So in we go. Head arm. I feel a lot better about that. Okay, you're gonna Minecraft will take out all of them and her this. And then we can walk to here and we can harrow with this. Moving now. Get some of that armor shredded. Now our sniping plan. Obviously we are a little concerned about this guy. But we can step just around here and we can do a quick aim on him. And that'll do quite a lot of damage. Almost enough. I'm ready. Now I think we'll bring you up to here. Alternating between putting people in as much cover as possible and having them actually, you know, kill things. Uh, we can probably get grenades up and over. I think that counted. Uh, you're moved over here. Bash on in, we'll get you the killing blow. Moving. And that leaves just our slow moving engineer. I mean, I say slow moving, he's moving much faster than he used to. Uh, and our other heavy. Get on in, guys. New troops coming in with grenade launcher. That's so dangerous. That is so dangerous. Um, I feel like I need to get you in and like in. So let's dash you to here. Can we hop you up or round? Round might be best. Can you get oh you can get up here okay do that well we've actually just get eyes on this What's our move? and then everyone else we can think about what we're going to do with that I can give you a clue it's pretty much going to be grenades in a good place at all. Oh, you can get... We can dash you all the way around. Let's do that. Dash on in.
dash on round. And this is where the big damage is going to start. It does mean we're going to have to be very careful about grenading in from here on, but... I'm fine with that. Uh, you might be able to get all the way in as well. Dash you to here. I'm not going to be able to take a shot this turn, but next turn for certain. And then, yeah, let's let's put you down the base. Out of sight of everything that wants to hurt you. What's your chance on this guy? Not huge. So we could do qu two quick aims on him. We could do a quick aim and then move somewhere else. So your arm's gone, let's take your other arm. quite reasonable over this side I want to jump here it should only take two willpower oh maybe it's because of where we are are we underneath something I think we were underneath something let us jump you to here I think pretty much next turn we're guaranteed to finish it. Yeah, come come around there just to make it a little bit easier to hit. Do we have a plan? Uh you We can get up there, so yeah, let's uh Stash to here. And we can dash to down here. Perfect. On. This is proper kill squad. Targeting. So on the egg. Gotcha. 320 damage. Very nice. Uh, let's step to here and we'll drop a turret just for a little bit of extra distraction. And then step back just a tiny bit. And I think that'll do us actually. That's going up. At our sniper. As long as the team survives this turn, it's all okay. I say as long as the team survives this turn, I mean, it. I didn't think that would actually be a question. I'm pretty glad they didn't uh, didn't do the frenzy beforehand. All right, so Lane, you're going to heal yourself up. And then we're just going to get this thing killed. Go. 
gotcha. No need to stand on ceremony. Okay, so 10 experience across the board. Not quite enough for Luke or uh, Kid Afro to make it up a level, but I'd say they're getting pretty damn close. Look at this. So another few and they'll make it. The important thing is we didn't take any silly losses this, uh, this close to the end. Now, obviously we're gonna send the team back to heal up. Uh, let's send them up here. And then we're running down our research, kind of. Um, John Mangan the Cannon, yeah. It's okay. It does 50 acid and 10 damage. So once it burns through the armor, it would be very cool. But it still needs to burn through the armor. So it's still a few turns before it actually kills things. I don't think I'm ever really going to like acid weapons that much. I'd much rather just like penetrate through and, and kill things outright. Scan complete. There's the TM out on its way back. It's taking its sweet time. Research complete. Okay, uh, we're down to reverse engineering the Dante. Research complete. So finally, if we can make the flamethrower. Another gun that I didn't really get on well with. If, if anyone's actually used it and finds it effective, then do please let me know. It just, I, it didn't really feel like it did. If it did like an initial load of damage and then set things on fire as well, then I'd be like, yeah, cool. But it just doesn't and it just doesn't feel good. Uh, this has one day left. And we are going through all of the reverse engineering. I mean, obviously by now we've got much better things to be doing with our troops than giving them old armor. Apologies that I'm not reading these out, but uh, it does uh, it does very much feel like we're just running down the last bits of our research. And actually, yeah, that was the last piece. How is this doing? They've got zero days left, so I'm sure it won't be long before their mission triggers. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Apologies that it was just uh, just that one layer, but uh, next time we'll tuck into whatever it is that's going on at Asher and uh, see where that takes us. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.